Guns on the Korean front sound the keynote and echo the stalemate around the world in 1951. More than a million red casualties and 100,000 allied marked the second year of conflict which saw General MacArthur relieved of his post as Commander-in-Chief of the Far East, raising a storm of controversy over the nation. He was succeeded by General Matthew B. Ridgway, who undertook the difficult task of facing the hordes of Chinese Reds. America was stunned by reports of the mass murders of 5,500 of their own war prisoners, slaughtered in cold blood behind communist lines. Stalemate was again the word for truce negotiations after more than 150 sessions between United Nations top-level officers and their red opposite numbers. The only conclusion reached definitely in the tent at Panmunjom with the communist representatives was the establishment of a buffer zone two and one half miles wide extending along the present battle zone above the 38th parallel. It was the entering wedge in the deadlock which has marked the Korean struggle since the United Nations undertook its police action in the Far East. On the brighter side of the Asiatic picture was the official ending of war with Japan with the side requirements set up in his blueprint. America's economy itself was also severely jolted as Congress passed tax increase bills and price control measures. The new laws were the direct outgrowth of a staggering new defense budget of 58 billions. In a world of unrest, Americans shouldered an additional burden in the struggle between East and West, where the race for atomic weapons assumed new proportions and guided missiles took on 